These are the world's toughest people. Consider yourself lucky you get to witness their skills from a distance. In the world of strongmen, JD Anderson is revered on a whole nother level. While others may want to flex their power by picking up tons of weight, Anderson has a different approach in mind. The strongman has pulled off some absolutely inhuman feats as nothing more than a warm-up, but even those pale in comparison to what you're about to see next. In 2017, JD would up the ante and earn his Iceman nickname after attempting to break the most solid slabs of ice with his head. Now just imagine if your body were those blocks. When professional acrobats began to bore young British MJ, he decided to travel to China to learn Kung Fu. After returning to the UK, MJ now teaches and demonstrates his hybrid brand of modern Kung Fu. This includes furious flips, one finger push ups, and gravity defying staff work that would make any ninja nervous. From the ancient Shaolin Eagle Claw to the impressive Iron Palm, this modern day Shaolin warrior has mastered mind over matter. Not only is he able to resist being punched while laying on a bed of nails, he's perfected the iron head, a practice of breaking iron beams over his forehead. How can you hurt someone that can't even hurt themselves? Kazakhstan's Sergei Surulnikov has no problem breaking free from any restraint you can throw at him. But it's not just impressive escape attempts that this strong man has up his sleeve. Watch as Sergei makes short work of hammers, chains, and even a fully laden goods train. If none of that's left you amazed and slightly terrified, his ultimate show of strength has to be when he stood between two light aircrafts, one arm strapped to each and keeping them from flying. Captain, you are not cleared for takeoff. If you passed Victor Blood in the street, you probably wouldn't even look twice. But meet Victor in the gym and an absolute beast emerges. This ultra-ripped strongman regularly flexes his insane strength. Not even thick metal objects like wrenches and iron rods are safe around Victor. But when he's not inventing innovative ways to lift the heaviest things possible, you'll find him bench pressing people who are more than happy to let him. 42-year-old former Marine and SWAT officer Tony Sentmanot has spent his life being literal muscle for hire. A master of several different martial arts, as well as being an expert in special operations weapons, Tony is terrifying both up close and from a distance. When he's not competing in MMA tournaments or testing out the latest high-powered rifle at the shooting range, Tony's ferocious training regime includes a mix of powerlifting, high-intensity weights and strength drills, as well as full-contact kickboxing. If I saw this cop chasing me down, I'd probably just hand myself in. After training in several martial arts styles, Korean-born In Gun Yu took up tricking, a blend of high-altitude acrobatics and martial arts prowess that looked more like a video game than real life. It all started with the mastery of one of Taekwondo's hardest moves, a spinning kick that involves a 540-degree rotation. From there, Kick Gun, as he's been nicknamed, has only improved, showing off his superhuman kicks that defy both gravity and logic. He's able to launch himself into the air from 10 feet away, perform four complete aerial corkscrew revolutions, and then deliver a strike with so much force that he's literally able to break solid wood boards. When it comes to extreme training and crazy feats of strength, none are as intimidating as 33-year-old Han Leoshi, aka the Chinese Beast. Training a mixture of Kung Fu, Wushu, and traditional boxing techniques, Han has more power than should be humanly possible. Chains, ropes, zip ties, nothing can beat the beast tied down. He's so strong, so fast, and so dangerous that you'll often find him working out with a heavy tire or punching bag strapped to his back. You'd think that'd slow him down. <laughs> Not this beast. Taking inspiration from a certain orange ninja turtle, Chinese-born Yuan Yonghui has mastered an unlikely Japanese weapon, the ancient nunchaku. In skills that are honestly terrifying to watch, Yuan flips, spins, and twirls the steel bars with expert precision. While he makes it look easy, you really can't appreciate just how insane his talent is until you try a pair out for yourself. Some people spend their entire lives tuning their bodies to be literal weapons, and Sage Northcut is no exception. Training in karate and kickboxing since he was just four years old, Sage transitioned over to MMA where he dominated with several winning streaks. As you can imagine, his workout routine is anything but gentle. But alongside his super strict diet, the MMA powerhouse keeps his body fat levels as low as they'll go. All this results in a super chiseled physique with the strength to match. Wu Kuang quite possibly has one of the strongest pairs of fists in the world. It comes after years of intense training, subjecting his hands to absolute torture to condition them into the weapons they are today. Without flinching, this dangerous strongman can punch through stacks of bricks, coconuts, and even the spiky durian with relative ease. He routinely pushes his iron hands to the limit, destroying any defenseless item that gets in his way. Even something as strong as zip ties are no match for Wu's deadly force. I guess when you're nicknamed the Asian Hulk, there isn't much you can't smash. Copping a punch to the face hurts a lot. Just ask anyone who's ever stepped in the ring against Francis Nagano. While most fighters have a specialty hand, each one of Francis 
Francis's fist have the potential to send opponents to sleep. In fact, in 2017 at the UFC Performance Institute, Francis set the world record for the hardest punch ever measured. At a force of over 129,000 units, Nagano's punch has the equivalent horsepower of a small family car. This all comes from some truly hardcore training, one-arm push-ups, lightning fast bag work, and core strengthening during his tea break. Being a gym owner, Bradley Martin has an unlimited supply of weights at his disposal to train with, but for some reason, he prefers a more eccentric workout. Maybe standard weights are too mainstream, or maybe he gets bored easily. Whatever the case, he possesses some seriously dangerous strength. From lifting people, to towing a pickup truck, to crushing watermelons with his bare hands and everything in between, Bradley knows how to make a strong statement wherever he goes. When you see Chef Andre Rush's massive 24-inch arms chopping vegetables in the kitchen, you're gonna think twice about completely complaining about the food. But this rippling master chef wasn't always a jacked up Jamie Oliver. Starting his career in the US Army, Andre discovered that he had a passion besides punching bad guys. But when he's not cooking up a storm, you can find Chef Rush in the gym, bench pressing up to 605 pounds in his prime. But if you think that's impressive, Andre also does an impressive 2,222 push-ups a day as part of the 22 push-up challenge. As a police officer in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and veteran of the United States Armed Forces, it's definitely a good thing Edward Hawthorne's on our side, because with physical prowess like his, he could very well be a straight up supervillain. While there sadly doesn't seem to be any footage of Edward taking down criminals, there's plenty of clips of his insane workouts and, well, you can just let your imagination fill in the blanks. I mean, do you really want to run from a cop who can chase you just as quickly on his hands as on his feet? Speaking of ninjas, our next intimidating human is none other than South Korean martial artist Kim Won Jin. This superhuman fighter seems to defy the laws of gravity, able to pull off aerial kicks and stunning flips, all with the dexterity of a real-life ninja. Emotional damage. He's able to break multiple boards in a single jump, spinning furiously and landing battle-ready. He's even able to smash a target 15 feet off the ground. How this ninja can get that kind of height is beyond me. Vietnamese boxing prodigy Thomas Wu may be fairly new to the boxing ring, but the blistering speed of his deadly hands have already earned the 22-year-old a professional boxing contract and worldwide notoriety. Forever improving his craft, Wu is up at 5.30 a.m. every morning to begin a grueling training regimen. Thomas claims that his current goal is to head to the Olympics and be crowned the best boxer in the world. And with hands as quick as his, that goal doesn't seem all that unlikely. Lucas Novotny has always had his eye on the prize, and by prize, I mean target. This modern day warrior spends his time perfecting his inner Robin Hood creating bows and arrows from scratch in his workshop before testing them out on various archery courses he's designed. Lucas's aim is nothing short of superhuman, especially considering he's on the back of a galloping horse. While most of us mere mortals struggle to stay upright, Lucas can pull off a near bullseye while traveling in the opposite direction of a target 50 feet away.